Today I'm retrying the best controller settings to get the least amount of input delay. If you're not aware of what input delay is, it's basically the time between pressing a button or moving your stick on your controller until it actually happens to your character. In my personal opinion, the worst thing about playing on console is the input delay. However, the input delay can also be pretty bad on PC like right now. I have all my settings set to epic and my FPS set to unlimited. And as you can see here, I'm sitting here free building on the super intensive graphics. The number is at 10 milliseconds, which 10 milliseconds seconds for just building around in creative is actually ridiculous. One of the easiest ways to decrease this number is change my graphics from epic down to medium. I'll turn my 3D resolution up and now you can see it just got a lot lower. It literally just went from like high nines to 10 down to like threes, mid fours and now when I'm building up somewhere around five, which I mean I can instantly feel the results of this. So even just that like four milliseconds makes such a huge difference. It's kind of insane. So throughout this video I'm gonna be trying a bunch of different ways to get that number all the way down down as low as possible. We're gonna be trying the most optimal settings in Fortnite itself. We're gonna be overclocking the controller. We're gonna do a couple different things. So as always, if you're entertained or you find this video helpful, go ahead and drop a like on it. I appreciate it a ton. If you like the Fortnite controller content, then consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so obviously medium helped it a lot, but now we can change it down even lower and we can go all the way to low. And as you can see, now we're down dipping into the threes even. And when I'm building here, I'm almost staying consistently at four. And I'm I mean, just by my gameplay alone, you can probably tell that I definitely think that this feels a lot better. Obviously, it feels less delayed. It feels more responsive. It feels super good. And these are basically the lowest graphics that you can go on to still be on DX11. So the next best easiest fix is to actually just go over to your controller configuration and change it from PS4 or Xbox One to generic. So that'll change your icons down by your builds and weapons. Dang, that's actually kind of crazy. I literally didn't think that this was going to do anything, but it actually feels so good good look at these edits that's actually surprising i can't really tell if it did anything to the number i don't really think it did but i mean just building and editing i definitely feel like that made a difference so i think one of the biggest changes in getting this lower input delay is going to be changing off of dx11 which i'm currently on and actually changing to performance mode now i believe this is only something that pc players can do i know old gen consoles can't do it and i'm not sure what the new gen consoles like the ps5 can do but i just reset my pc and look at that we're literally down in the twos now we started at 10 milliseconds at the beginning of this video that's actually crazy how big of a difference this makes and you can really tell the difference in like actually holding the controller and doing these edits and stuff it feels so much less delayed it feels so responsive oh and everything is so consistent dude this is literally so nice on the fps too we got like 700 fps so at this point i've changed my controller layout i've turned on performance mode i've turned on low meshes i've pretty much done everything i can possibly do in game so the next step is actually going to be to overclock my controller now i've done this before so i don't really know like the download links or anything i'm sure you can just look it up but i know how to do it for me so basically i gotta go through here and install some stuff to my controller turn this to a thousand install this again then when i plug in my controller it shows up there all the options are right it's on yes a thousand and one so it's literally that easy my controller is now overclocked but now i am back in game and we're low to twos at this point i think even dipping into the ones that's actually crazy so very low two millisecond input delay my ping is doing something crazy right i'm like 200 ping dude what is this while restarting my game i just remembered i can actually verify my game and that's supposed to help with the game's performance i'm not sure what it'll do for input delay but here we go very low twos again dipping into the ones that's pretty solid dude these edits and everything literally feel so good and the number is still at two barely dipping into threes it's still insanely low and another thing to actually help with the input delay i'm using a wired ps4 controller because sometimes wireless can be faster but it's wireless so it's a lot more inconsistent so with this wired connection nothing ever messes up i'm constantly on this low of an input delay and it actually feels so good so i think i've done like pretty much everything that i know how to do overclocked it did all that now i need to hop into an actual game and we're gonna go try these settings Oh, let's go, dude. That aims super good as well. So obviously a creative island doesn't really have much going on. And that definitely brings down the input delay. So when I go into an actual game, it's a little bit higher. We're up into the like fives and sixes, maybe dipping into the sixes there. Oh, let's go. That's some pretty solid aim. And then obviously when I get into the actual area, it's going to go up maybe a little bit more sixes to sevens. This is kind of an awkward spot. I have no mats and these two dudes are fighting. You're a little opportunity 
need a third party like right now. Okay, that was absolutely terrible. Where is my aim assist? Oh, no way. This dude didn't have mats either. Oh, what a shot. Oh, he's just gonna run. I feel like that dude... I was gonna say, I feel like he came back and he did. He was just sitting up top. Oh, let's go. That SMG aim, that ADS sense is so good. Like I was saying, in game, the input delay is gonna be a little bit higher, just it's inevitable. So at the beginning, I was at about 10 millisecond input delay on epic settings in a blank creative island. In actual game, I would guess that's probably gonna be anywhere from like 17 to 20 milliseconds. So essentially, we're going from like 20 milliseconds in game down to like sixes and sevens when I'm in an actual fight. Oh, that is 100% AI. Look at the way he just stopped and looked at me. All right, we got a huge build battle here. Oh, that was such a good shot. There's so many people here now. Third party to do with Spider-Man. Oh, let's go. I need this. Oh, let's go. That shot was so good, dude. I'm consistent with these shots right now. He's playing weird. I'm not sure what he's doing. It's always the bots that you gotta be scared of. They're the ones that always somehow kill you. Did this dude disconnect? I'm pretty sure he did. <laughs> oh, this dude's a little sweat, huh? Don't so bad at it. This little tags. This dude really wants to fight, huh? Okay, I'm pushing this. Dude literally blocked himself in in every other spot. It's actually crazy when you do these things like overclock your controller, turn on performance mode and stuff because it makes your game feel like 10 times better. Okay. Oh, that high tone was so nice. Oh, uh, no way. You're just gonna run. Man. Well, we got another dude wanting a third party. Go oh, ahead. Oh, just showed his head peeking. I think I might be getting broke down. I should probably leave this fight. Yeah, I'm dipping. Damn, but that literally left me. Left me with no mats. This dude doesn't even know where I'm at. <laughs> oh, my aim right now. My aim right now is literally so good. I am not missing. This dude's just gonna leave this open. Push him. He dropped, of course. Oh. Good thing I didn't drop behind him. I might have died right there. Oh, I didn't even see that he went out the side. Let's go. Go, little 13 Elim win. First game on with the lowest input delays. So those were the settings. They were pretty solid. If you have a PC, I definitely suggest trying these out. And if you don't, if you're on console, I'm not sure if there's really anything that you can do to improve your input delay. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I hope to catch you guys in a future video.